back at Michael Thompson's studio. Yeah, yeah, boy. What's up, Michael? Yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is our uh, third installment of the video blog, right? Correct. Yes, it is. But uh, many, many songs have been recorded here on, on my records. And yes. So Start, many other records. Starting uh, a uh, bunch of years to. ago. Yeah. But so we're documenting it. Yeah, exactly. So you just uh, recorded guitar all over Beyond the Frontier. Beyond the Frontier. And uh, this lead sound is is great. Can you play just this sound? <laughs> That's awesome. What kind of guitar is this? This is a handmade guitar by my friend Greg Bach. I have like seven of his guitars. He's uh, done the wow. work on my guitars for for years, and he makes guitars. And last few Christmases, my wife's bought me one of his. But I, I nice. just love the, the guitars he makes. And this one's like the unfinished. Jeff Lorber calls it the. The uh, school shop guitar, wow. the shop guitar, like has like your you, initials in it. Though. You made you made it in high school. Ah, uh, that's clubs, awesome. You know? Yeah. Um, so you run yeah. what? Uh, and then what are you running this one through? Actually, <laughs> this is what I'm playing through. It's a little tube preamp into a speaker simulator down here. Wow. That just, you just got so like, much stuff. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, I find something that sounds good for for. I mean, I got it. it. It has a good, clean, direct sound. Yeah. But for leads, for some reason, it has a sound that sort of pokes through a track nice. So yeah. when I have this kind of solo to do, I go to that. Nice. And it's like for power chords, I go to, you know, the Marshall with the certain pedal. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, you document all the, the things that work in tracks and stuff. I, I always start out by going to that, but nice. you know, well, let's hear it in the track. Yeah. Just so play this is what, what we, uh, we just laid this down. <laughs> Another interesting sound in there that just Pretty came heroic. in. It is very. This is another epic yeah. song. So you got to talk so, um, about what you else had you laid to on me this. About uh, making this slightly ethnic sounding. So well, I started the, thinking, okay, what instruments do I have that are ethnic? And and I've got. Um, well, you mentioned the sitar. Sometimes people, you know, it's it's so perfect in a track when it's the right thing. But it's like, you know. An electric sitar. Often. Yeah, electric sitar. There it is. Uh, same one that they used on all those great R and B records and stuff. But I was trying to use it on this tune a little bit more. Yeah. With uh, making it sound like a real sitar and stuff. And um, that sounds really cool. I used that and this wacky thing, which uh, looks like got, a tiny banjo or something. You got three strings. It's a Chinese instrument. There's a there's this uh, place in San Francisco called Lark, Lark in the Morning, and they specialize in selling all these ethnic instruments. They have this great catalog. Wow. Everything from a Egyptian saz to a oud to a this percussion and that percussion. Nice. And uh, yeah, I was producing this Chinese artist, and, and it was a Chinese album that, that I was trying to get some ethnic sounding things. So I, I ordered this and I got it. <laughs> It's three strings, and, and there's not much fretting. It's actually a wacky, wow. sort of tempered scale and so on, but I've found, you know, I've only used it a few times on songs, but... Well, it's in this right, song. Right, three notes. <laughs> it, it does a thing. In fact, I'll play you that, and then you put it back in the track, and yeah. it just sort of has a thing, but I was just trying to add ethnicity to it well yeah because we also added some tablas real tablas yeah and other uh really interesting percussion sounds so who played tablas uh brian kilgore nice and uh lenny castro also played a wow. bunch of percussion so some udu pots and 
all kinds of interesting things. So the final mix is going to be really cool. Yeah. So in the intro, we got these different elements here. So solo up the... Uh, Here's the oh, yeah. sitar first. Oh, man. That's incredible. I have this wacky pedal that sustains the notes. That's why it, it, it holds out like that. Jeez. And then the Chinese <laughs> banjo is what it's like. <laughs> so you're doing a rhythm with that guy. <laughs> Yeah, so you also put your regular guitar stuff on yeah. the acoustic and uh, regular electrics. Yeah. So it's a whole... So then the clean guitar is doing this. It's trying to do sort of a Koto-esque yeah. part. Wow. It's a melange. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be fun to mix this song, man. Yeah. There's so many different, nice you know, nice ear candy out there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Michael Thompson. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, we actually did three songs together on this record. Yeah, so I'm uh, glad you you said you had one more. Yeah. The so. Has all this stuff back. There's a taste of the new tune, the yeah, new album. Yeah, man. Michael Thompson, the man. Thank Thanks. you. Until yeah. next time. Yeah, until next time. Love it. Love the studio, too. So yeah. many uh, wacky things. I As love Tricky it. Stewart said when he was here, you got a lot of stuff to look at in the studio. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> All Try right. Catch you later.